Good morning guys, I just woke up just making my instant iced coffee. It's not the most fantastic, but it will do the job. I wanted to vlog today because I have a bunch of little tasks to do, and they're tasks that I would put off if I'm not held accountable through a vlog. I'm taking you guys along with me. I'm gonna clean up. I just got some groceries delivered. I have to put that away. I have some laundry to do, and I also just kind of want to show you, I guess like a Monday-ish in my life. So as I mentioned, all of my groceries got delivered. We have just been using Walmart Plus because Alex and I got a membership and they deliver it for free if you order over $35. So it's just made it super easy. I always have to stock up on my creamer. This is the best almond milk creamer. I also got some almond milk and then I got some onions for dinner tonight. I got some apples. These I like to chop up and put in tuna for like lunches and stuff or even in salads. Ew, this apple feels old. You couldn't even pick out good apples. Anyways. We got some Skitty Pop popcorn. Alex really likes to snack on this. I like to snack on it too sometimes. I restocked all my favorite hair vitamins. They just taste honestly so good. And they keep my hair and nails like super strong and healthy. Just the Nature's Bounty Hair Skin and Nails Jelly Beans. They honestly just taste so good. Got some lettuce. This I need to chop up and chill because I have a horror story regarding lettuce in a second. This is for sandwiches. Sometimes I'll rip it up and throw it in a salad or something. And then this is for dinner tonight. I did not realize how big this bag is going to be. So we got some teriyaki veggies. These are Alex and I's favorite veggies to eat. Sometimes we'll do a stir fry with like turkey meat. Today we're doing it with, I think, boneless chicken thighs. And I also got some soy sauce with this meal. Alex and I really enjoyed just like Asian fusion type of cuisine. But what I'm excited about, I'm gonna make Alex's with rice because that's what he just has been loving to eat lately. But I got these noodles. Are these Pasta Zero noodles. Shirataki white waterfall noodles. See, it's only 20 calories versus typical pasta that's 220 calories. Only 5 grams of carbs versus 43 grams of carbs. So I wanted to try this out because I love noodles. They're gluten free. So I'm gonna put all this away and yeah, we're gonna get our day started. I also forgot to mention, I got a Celsius, and apparently I heard that Celsius like can damage your liver. And so does alcohol if you drink it excessively. So I got one because I do have an early morning client on Saturday, and I was like, okay, if I just have like one for certain occasions where I know I'm gonna need it, it can't be that bad, and I got the kiwi guava. I love the kiwi guava, I love the black cherry, I love the watermelon one. I, I never thought Celsius's were gonna be absolutely super healthy for me. I figured I shouldn't be drinking these all the time, but be careful if you are drinking Celsius's every day. I'm about to do my morning reading in my Bible. This has been a really interesting time in my walk with God. It's been a, like a tug and pull. I feel like God's trying to call me deeper and I'm kind of set in my ways. And I'm trying to work through breaking down me, diminishing more of myself to reflect more of him, but that's not easy to do. And with that, it's caused like this sort of turmoil. I feel guilty and I feel condemnation to know is not coming from God, it's simply conviction. I'm working on my my walk right now and being a better follower of Christ because I know I could be so much better. It's so crazy. It's like when you first get saved as a Christian, which I got saved forever ago, but I feel like I recently started to truly understand the gospel and what the gospel calls of me to do. I could say I was a Christian all I wanted, but a lot of aspects of my life wouldn't 100% reflect that. The deeper that I've gotten in my faith, faith, the more that I've realized, okay, this you need to work through, this mindset, how you do this and do that. And Christianity is not about what you do, but I feel like the closer that you get to God, the more he, he, he calls you for more. He starts speaking you to more. He starts calling you to different levels once you know, you're ready for it. He doesn't throw it all in your face at once because he doesn't want to overwhelm you, but slowly he starts to reveal things to you. And to me, sometimes it can feel overwhelming. And so that's been the, that I guess been the most challenging Part. Just being real. Anyways, today we're on Ezekiel. I think I'm on Ezekiel 33. Yeah, so it's been interesting. Not only that, but I also feel like I love God so much and I want to be so close to Him, but I also have not been the best at carving out time frame. I've been trying so hard to rely on my own strength. Get up and be like, no, I need to film, I need to do this, I need to get all this work done. And like almost like rushing through my Bible reading time, rushing through my prayer, not spending and being super intentional and super intimate. It's like I'm praying but then I'm like trying to hurry through it so I can get everything else done and it's like that's not the relationship that God wants with us 
one, two, how much more fruitful will what I'm rushing to get done be if I have that time with God and if I allow him in instead of just being like, compartmentalizing him being like this is my time with you now this is me you stay there I'm here no he wants to be invited in every aspect of our life that's something that I have to keep reminding myself um that he cares about those things and he wants to be there and he wants to give us insight and he wants to let us know hey like that's worth investing your time that's not this is something else that I have for you and that's kind of like the hardest part I've come to realize I'm super stubborn and I need to work on that because he's been so patient with me and it's like time that I step it into gear and, and am more reverent of him like he deserves that kind of reverence that respect an almighty God and a lot of times we kind of forget that we think that we're the main character like they like that's the whole thing right now like the main character energy he's the main character we should be the supporting actresses of him and everything that we do as christians should reference him so that's been my biggest layer and thing for myself everything i've been doing lately i just feel like why am i doing this why am i on social media should i be doing this is what i'm doing pointing back to him but um but yeah, I just wanted to put that out there because I never wanted to get confused because I share my faith and because I talk about how I'm a Christian that my walk is perfect and that my life is perfect and that I'm just some like never ever ever want you guys to think that I think that I'm holier than that because I'm far from it. So I just wanted to throw that out there with transparency that as Christian, not easy. <laughs> and it's like this constant tug of war of like what the world's telling you how you should live your life versus what the Bible's telling you how you should live your life, how your family's telling you you should live your life, how your in-laws are telling you how you should live your life, how your friends are telling you how you should live your life versus what God's telling you to do. Hard. Hope that wasn't too big of a rant. All right, I'm gonna read my Bible. Okay, before I start cleaning, I was like, let me just get one of my TikToks out the way because I've been uploading TikToks daily. I try to do at least one or two a day. And today, I'm doing another 90s series look on my TikTok. We're going to do this look right here, which is actually inspired from the 60s. I attempted to, like, give myself the bleach brow look again. And once again, I look just like Jeffree Star. Um, but yeah, so if you guys end up wanting to see this look in action, check out my TikTok. People have been loving it on there. And, like, my following there has, like, blown up pretty quick. I'm already almost at 40,000 followers which is insane but yeah so if you guys want to see that also let me know if you guys want me to translate more of that series onto this channel um or if you don't care i have a feeling this makeup is gonna be really hard to take off so i'm probably gonna be like left the rest of the day with like dark raccoon eyes but it is what it is hey guys what do you guys think this is so scary i'm literally wiping this off because i just i feel terrifying anyways now i gotta wash my face and hope that this black eyeshadow will come off and then now we can get to cleaning. So we are about halfway through the day and I still haven't gotten any of the cleaning stuff I need to get done. I need to tackle this laundry, fold it and put it away. I need to wipe down my makeup kits here from the weekend, clean my makeup brushes, but who is it parked in front of my house? All that to say, we're already like halfway through the day. I've gotten none of it done. I need to go to the gym soon and I still haven't eaten today. So right now what I'm doing is I'm cleaning my lettuce. You guys, if you do not do this to your lettuce, you will regret it. I just did a small batch here because I wanted to make a quick salad and now I'm just doing the rest of it. I just chopped it up, put it in a bowl full of ice and cold water. The amount of things that come out of lettuce is absolutely repulsive. I even do this to lettuce that's like in bags that says it's already been washed and clean and you'll still find little tiny bug dirt romaine lettuce no wonder why it's always like killing somebody because the other day i got romaine lettuce and the amount of like debris dirt bugs it's disgusting but this is how our produce is if you don't like clean it right always 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 put it in a big bowl of ice water before you eat it i'll let it sit in here for about 10 minutes and then i'll go back and rinse each piece of lettuce piece by piece just because i cannot like bugs are the one thing no yeah, I think I'm gonna make myself a salad right now. Yeah, then I gotta edit my TikTok and then I guess start cleaning. Also guys, these garlic and sea salt plantain croutons from Trader Joe's are fire. I never actually put them in my salad. I just like to snack on them. Fried cranberries. I guess I'll put a little bit of these plantain. These little crispy jalapenos are so good in salad, especially if you put the dried cranberries. It's like 
spicy, salty, and sweet. So good. I also will sometimes literally just snack on these like chips. I would typically opt for like leftover chicken or something, but I don't have that. So I'm just gonna peel up some turkey meat, peel up some Swiss cheese, throw that in there. And I'm also gonna chop up some strawberries. I'm gonna put some ranch that I got from Stop and Shop. And voila, right, got guys, I'm finally gonna tackle cleaning my makeup brushes. I literally just had like a 10 minute dance session. I'm gonna insert clip. I literally kept going to uh, clean these and then I threw on Afro beats on Google. Gosh, I could literally dance for hours. Like I don't even know if need to go to the gym. I literally have so much fun just like dancing. I'm not even a great dancer, but I just, it's, it's, I just love, I love good music and dancing. I just filled up this little bowl of hot water. Literally should not be using this. This is like a really good crystal bowl, but I have so many brushes to clean that I needed a wide, shallow dish. So I'm going to put a little bit of dish soap in here. Probably about that much should be good. I also put a little bit of alcohol to disinfect the brushes. Put a little bit of olive oil or avocado oil. This is avocado oil. Honestly, any oil to just lightly condition the brush hairs. These are all the brushes that have to get clean. So I like to let these soak for like five to ten minutes and then I'll rinse them out. And when I rinse them out, I'll typically go in with like a little extra dish soap just to make sure everything's super clean and disinfected. This is my first time doing it in a wide dish like this. I don't think I'm ever going to do that again because... You don't want to risk the brushes falling in there because then that can mess up the brushes. All right, so that's going to soak and now I'm going to sweep up my kitchen. I'm a fashion killer. All right, I'm going to put on some Afro beats again. So if you see me dancing while I'm sweeping, that's why. Okay, here's a Pandora station called New Afro Beats now. Finally going to tackle this. I've been avoiding this like the plague. It's literally just been piling up since last week. So we are finally gonna fold it and put it away. So what I'm gonna do is start by just piling things together. Also random, but look how cute this sweater is that I got from Target. It was on sale for only five bucks. And it's like one of those like trendy little like half sweaters. One part says Niagara Falls, the other part is supposed to be like New York. I think it's so adorable. top literally an exact dupe for the aritzia little like crisscross top same ribbed material literally pretty much the same quality it's super thick and strong this one's from forever 21 it was only 17 dollars and it just looks and feels so nice it obviously looks a lot better when it's not wrinkled but it's still so cute i got it in this color and then i also got it in a tan so freaking cute the aritzia one's like 58 dollars and this one's only 17 and like i said you cannot tell the difference whatsoever. It's the same exact like cut, quality, style, all of that. So, hi guys. It's actually the next day. It's like literally late the next day. I ended up doing most of my cleaning late last night because I ended up having to take one of my final exams. And then, yeah, I wasn't able to clean till late. And then by then it was like super dark out. So I couldn't really vlog it. But I got everything that I needed to get done. Finally, I don't feel like... I am living in the midst of chaos because that always drives me crazy. And then today was kind of a busy day. I woke up this morning and I ended up going to Cosmoprov with my sister-in-law who's a hairdresser. I stocked up on a bunch of hair products that I want to share with you guys. And then um, I also met up with a friend at a coffee shop. Anyways, I wanted to quickly do a haul of the stuff that I got from Cosmoprov. So I was so happy. I got another bottle of my It's a 10 Miracle Repair Shampoo. And I had mine since July. So I'm so happy to have a new bottle. Crazy because I had both the shampoo and the conditioner since July. And literally the conditioner is still like up to here. No, it's like till about right here. And I've had it since July. Because you only need such a small amount of the conditioner 
but I feel like I go through a lot of the shampoo, especially when my hair was longer. So I'm so happy to have another one of these. This is like my holy, holy, holy grail shampoo and conditioner. Next up, I got this smells in Incredible. It's the Moroccan dry shampoo and I got the dark tone one you guys if you have not tried any of the Moroccan oil products You need to I also use the little Moroccan argan oil. I swear by it They were out of stock on it um, at Cosmoprof So I ended up getting another oil that I'm gonna share with you guys But I'm glad that I was able to get this dry shampoo because I love the scent that the Moroccan products leave in my hair So I'm happy I at least have one of the products to give my hair that scent and I used it today you guys this is like maybe fourth day hair. It was really greasy and I sprayed that throughout my hair and it revitalized it. It doesn't leave any residue. It smells so good. And I feel like it even adds like a shine somehow too. Yeah, it says it leaves it soft and silky with no dull or residue. So I definitely recommend this. This is another product that I'm excited about, the Rusk Thermal flat iron spray so whenever we work on clients together my sister-in-law is always using this brand and it always smells so good when she sprays it that i always tell her i want like a body spray made out of it so um she ended up telling me that she really likes the thermal spray so i ended up getting it and i'm really happy because the bottle is super super big the other heat protecting spray that i really loved and that they didn't have in stock was the kenra heat cast spray um and since they didn't have it in stock i was like just gonna buy it on my own but then my sister-in-law said this was really good and so i'm excited to try this out this has a mist too just like the kenra one so i'm excited about it because it will evenly coat the hair oh it smells so like just like fresh and clean i love it you guys already know olaplex number three you cannot go wrong with it i got another bottle of this because i went through my other one and then i also got the olaplex number seven bonding oil i haven't tried this before but since they didn't have the Moroccan argan oil in stock, I figured I would give this a try because I always hear such good things about Olaplex um, products. It didn't really go wrong. And I want to say that this has thermal protection for the hair too. I also got this Ion round brush to blow out my hair. Ever since cutting my hair shorter and having layers, I've been loving the way it looks like blown out with a ton of volume. So I was using like a blow dry brush from Amazon. However... I noticed that whenever I use that brush often, it tends, I get like a lot of breakage in like these small front pieces of my hair. And last thing I wanna do is damage my hair and then it not be able to like grow any longer if I ever do wanna grow it back out. So I got this brush, combination of like a boar bristle and then like little plastic ones. My sister-in-law said it should be good for like holding tension but not ripping the hair too much. And yeah, I'm really excited about it. I also like the size of it. I feel like it'll still give me good volume. I'll still giving me some shape. I wanted to get a blow dryer while I was there, but I was like, let me use a blow dryer that I have. Um, I just use mine from Amazon. And then I think eventually I want to invest in like a really good hair dryer. And then I also got Funny Bunny OPI gel polish. I left it upstairs, but I was so excited because they never have it in stock whenever I go there. And so now I have my favorites, Bubble Bath and Funny Bunny and Tiramisu for two. I'm like getting stocked up on all my gel nail polishes. So yeah, I just went there, met up with a girl from church at a coffee shop um, because I'm now volunteering in like the little children's ministry in my church. That's something like new that's been like fun. Came home, edited the TikToks that I had filmed this morning before I went with my sister-in-law to Cosmo Prof. I'm trying to figure out, like I'm either gonna film a YouTube video to post for tomorrow or I might just incorporate this vlog. This vlog is kind of all over the place, but I might just make this vlog a nice video. Oh yeah, I also went to Walmart. Dang, this was a busy day. I also went to the gym after I met up with my friend from the coffee shop and I just did 12 free 30. So initially I took a break from like lifting weights and all that just to do 12 free 30. And then I ended up liking the results so much more of just doing 12 through 30. And I just liked how quick and efficient it was that I just like ended up sticking to just doing 12 through 30 and not going back to like weights and all of that and i like it because then i'm able to like if i'm running errands and then i want to stop at the gym really quick and get it out the way i can do that and like not feel like i need like a full gym outfit so like today i was wearing just like a tank top these uh flare leggings from amazon and then i had my converse on which i typically wouldn't do a normal workout in but if i'm just walking on the treadmill for 30 minutes like it's so easy and then i also have just been liking the definition and stuff that i'm getting i don't feel like i'm getting too bulky my appetite and all that is still under control for whatever reason once i throw weights in the mix my eating versus what i'm doing to work out does not add up and then i end up just like gaining weight so i like how this is like a good balance getting a good workout my legs feel toned even my stomach 
um, but it's not like too strenuous and it also doesn't take too much time out of my day. It's been great. Lauren Geraldo knew what she was doing when she put us onto that. Now I'm going to start prepping dinner. Well, it might be a little early. I guess I could start prepping now. Picked up some chicken breast from the store and then make that pasta that I was showing you guys yesterday. I ended up not making it yesterday because Alex ended up having to work uh, late. So today I'm going to try this and then for Alex, I'm going to make him rice. Excited about that. I think what I'm gonna do is I'll do like, I'm gonna do one pan with the veggies, half of the chicken and rice and kind of mix all that up and then do another pan with the veggies, chicken, and then this pasta. I gotta figure out how to cook it. What makes it so easy whenever I'm cooking like two separate things for Alex and me is having a rice cooker. Cause then I'm able to just like throw it in there and it's like not too complicated. This we got from Amazon, maybe like last year and it's held up so good. I do equal parts rice and water in this cup, white rice. And then it'll be ready in like 30 minutes. Also, this is really random, but I wanted to share this makeup combo with you guys because I've been obsessed with it. Not even gonna lie, I feel like I've been posting so much on TikTok lately. And I've been sharing so many of my favorite products on there. I like forget to update you guys here since like I'm not posting as frequently. I only post once a week now. But anyways, because of that, I want to update you guys on some products that I have been seriously so 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 obsessed with lately you guys if you do not like foundation or like heavy makeup the verse mood lighting glow drops paired with your spf or your moisturizer is like the perfect way to even up your skin complexion without looking cakey it's what i have on my skin right now granted this is from like nine o'clock this morning so it's obviously faded and it's like literally four o'clock right now but still it's held up pretty good for being literally like a tinted moisturizer they're basically just these little like drop that your moisturizer or your fpf i do a lot more of my spf i just didn't want to like waste it because i'm not really using it right now but you literally just mix it together and it just gives your skin this really pretty just soft tint evens it up it doesn't look cakey i'm just following up with like my sealers and all of that like usual just love it it's like literally gonna be perfect especially for the summertime i've also been really loving the patrick tashi sculpted this is the bronzer duo where it comes with a cream bronzer and a powder bronzer the cream bronzer though is literally perfect it's just melts into the skin without making it look heavy it helps keep that like fresh look to the skin it's not too pigmented either so it's really easy to work with if you're somebody that's like not really good at contouring or it intimidates you get this product because it's like impossible to mess up i normally will literally just apply it with like my beauty sponge and it just gives the perfect melted into the skin sun kiss finish i've also been obsessed you guys is an understatement with the rare beauty highlight and blushes i have the highlight in the shade mesmerize it looks so much like the charlotte tilbury beauty wand and pillow talk it's a fraction of the price and you get a lot of product it is so pretty it's the most gorgeous champagne color i got this during the sephora sale and i have been obsessed with it but my favorite way to use it is mixed with the blush in the shade happy it's such a pretty just like true pinky color and it just melts in this is a dewy finish one too so it gives the skin a nice glow so as you can see they're both pretty on their own but i love mixing them together and applying it on my cheek with my beauty sponge and then together you just get this really pretty iridescent so so stunning and then next product that i have been in love with is the koki blushes in the shade heartthrob this is like the only blush that i've been using lately and i've gotten so many other high-end blushes i swear by this one it's so good it's only eight dollars oh i just love the color i also have been loving to use the shade swoon and i take the lightest portion of it with my beauty sponge and I'll use that to kind of blend under my eye to marry the blush and my like under eye highlight together. And it just gives the most smoothest finish. Like you can even see here how I touched up with it. It just helps marry and melt everything together. And then I like the formula because it's a nice matte formula that's pigmented but not too pigmented super smoothing it's not going to enhance any texture melts into the skin doesn't look chalky either this formula is out of this world and they're only like eight or nine dollars plus i have 25 percent off with them if you use a code janelle 25 you can literally get it for even cheaper oh i also have been loving this product the l'oreal skin tint is so good and then i also have been obsessed with this primer is the best primer 
ever. This is like gonna be the perfect primer for the summertime. It grips the makeup to keep it on all day, but then it's also hydrating and gives you a glow, but it doesn't leave you feeling greasy. Like it's not a slimy glow. It's like a long wearing glow. I don't even know how to describe it. You guys just need to try this. Don't get the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Get this one. It's to me, in my opinion, so much better. And it keeps the makeup on just as long. I think I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope it's not too all over the place. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey.